All right, so here we are back on Angel in the Outfield. I believe this is episode number 12, and uh, the last game actually went pretty well. We got three upgrades to the squad. Mike Trout did go 0 for 1, but he did get on base twice, so he was good there. Uh, we finished with three upgrades, and, you know, we just got a nice little boost to the team today. Once again, I am going to be playing on the No Money Spent team, so that's why the jerseys are going to look the way they're looking, so keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing to the team. So the first thing we have to take a look at is the like goal. From the last video, the like goal was set at 3,500 likes. You guys actually didn't hit it the week before, but you definitely made up for it this week. The like goal was crushed. So now we have a fourth upgrade to the squad. So thank you guys so much for continuing to show love on the series. Thank you for hitting the like button. If you guys would like to get another upgrade for the next episode of Angel in the Outfield, the like goal on this video will be set at 3,600 likes. So make sure to hit that like button. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the comments from the last Last video a couple things to highlight the first one the top comment is going to be from Viloso legend sorry if I'm saying that wrong uh, he says you should get a live series Roberto Osuna 83 team affinity Nolan Ryan flashback Brett Cecil and for the like goal get Mike Clevenger Wrigley Bates gets another top comment he's had like two or three now at this point he says get Dellen Betances flashback Johnny Venters or I'm sorry Dellen Betances flashback Johnny Venters and flashback Kyle Hendricks and for the like goal get AJ Burnett and then the third comment Comment is going to be from It's John Boy Time, and he says I should pick up Roberto Osuna, Will Smith, Aaron Nola, and Brett Cecil. So this episode is pretty much just going to be a huge bullpen upgrade. We got a lot of new bullpen pieces, a lot of good arms. The first one being, of course, Roberto Osuna, 83 overall, 85 79 hits and Ks per nine, 90 walks per nine, 85 control, 85 velo, 99 break. Uh, he's playing plus 10 on the day too, so he's actually playing up to a diamond, which is kind of a steal. Five different pitches. The slurve is nasty. The changeup's nasty. Roberto Osuna is actually one of the better relievers you can use in the game. He's better than a lot of diamonds in the game. So Roberto Osuna is definitely a good pick. Then we're going with live series Dellen Betances. He's got four pitches, a four seam, a knuckle curve, a slurve, and a two seam. 99 hits per nine, 109 Ks per nine, 92 velo, 99 break. Now, of course, the you know the issue with Dellen Betances is the control. 37 walks per nine with 63 control. You know, if you're not good at hitting your spots, you're probably going to be kind of you know, iffy with this card, but I have faith in my ability, and I think I'll be able to get it done with Dylan Batances. One of the better budget beasts in the game, Johnny Venters, 81 overall gold card, 2010 rookie version, uh, a sinker, a slurve, a four seam, and a changeup. Uh, hits and Ks per nine in the 90s, 97 velo, 96 break, 46 walks per nine with 72 control. It's a little bit better than Dylan Batances, but still, uh, you're gonna have to hit your spots with this guy, but everybody at one point or another has face this Johnny Venters card in MLB The Show 19. He's kind of been a goon since day one, so I'm happy he's on the squad. And the last upgrade we're going to make is Brett Cecil. He is going to be our third lefty in the bullpen. So now we have him, Johnny Venters, and Felipe Vazquez. So the three lefties are actually really good. Uh, knuckle curve as his primary pitch. Four seam cutter, two seam changeup. 90, 95 hits and Ks per nine. 78 control, 75 velo, 96 break. So overall, Brett Cecil is a good lefty with a lot of different weapons as well. So those are the upgrades we made. We used all four of our upgrades in the bullpen to get some gold studs. So now we only have two more bullpen spots left, four more starting rotation spots left, and then if we move over to the offense, still the only guy that we have to upgrade to a gold is Ad Adalberto Montesi. I couldn't say his name there for a second. He has been playing well for me though, so I mean, at some point he's going to have to go, but I'm happy he's still getting another, another game or two in there. So hopefully we can start getting a couple more of these gold upgrades to get closer to the first diamond phase. That's going to be really fun. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics from Angel in the Outfield. If you guys want to take a look at this for yourself, hit the top link in the description. Also, these will be updated the day after the video goes live to avoid spoilers. So the stats from this video will be in effect on Friday morning. But let's take a look at Trout. Obviously, the one that stands out is the .079 batting average. He is getting the on-base up there, though. The on-base is up to two, uh, 265 per 
particularly because of the nine walks and the one hit by pitch. So he's getting there. He's getting better at that. I mean, Mondesi uh, has a 417 on base. D Gordon only has a 286. So like Trout's trying to work his way up there, but at the end of the day, he has to make it happen. Mondesi is actually kind of our best hitter right now. 12 hits, uh, three home runs, 10 RBIs, two doubles. He's got a 1116 OPS with a 375 average. Joey Gallo leading the team in average, hitting a clean 500 right now with a 1500 slugging. Granted, it is only 10 at bats, but he's got three home runs and seven RBIs in those 10 at bats. So he's absolutely killing it. So I think we've kind of gone over everything that we need to go over. Mike Trout once again will be hitting in the eight spot. I'm going to leave him there for a couple games. In the last game, it kind of worked out because he got walked twice to get to the pitcher. So it gave us the upgrade. It's not the most exciting upgrade. It doesn't really help his average that much. But at the end of the day, his average, I don't really care as much about. I just want him to get upgrades. So Mike Trout in the eight spot until he proves that he can start hitting better at a consistent basis. Then we'll go ahead and move him up again. But right now he's going to be living in that eight spot. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the game, guys. All right, we're taking on the La Mirada Trojans. We're going to be at home this time. We've got Max Scherzer, we're facing 90 overall Don Sutton. He's got that pre-ordered Tony Gwynn, 87 Will Smith, uh, 87 Chipper, 95 Bichette. 97 Aussie to lead it off. All right, so he's got an interesting team. I'm actually pretty sure that Max Scherzer was the first silver upgrade we made to the starting rotation, and this is actually going to be his first start. So we've gone through the entire silver phase. We're starting to get golds in there, like with Steven Matz and stuff. And Max Scherzer is finally getting his first start, so that's interesting. There we go, fly ball to left to get this game going. Soto, he had a busy day in the last video, picking up right where he left off. That's a pretty good swing. Come on, Gallo. Hey, he makes the play, puts the glove out, falls in there. All right, we got two down. Oh my God, that pitch was crushed. All right, we just need Trout to go ahead and get this in. He's gonna get a two out double out of that, but that was a really good swing on the slider. Come on, Trout, you gotta make a play, line out to center. Whew, maybe we dodged a bullet right there, bro. D Gordon, get through there. Oh my God. Mondesi, oh, line drive straight to Duke Snyder. All right, we'll take it. I think that's Juan Soto's first time being on base so far in the series. He went 0 for 4 in his uh, debut game, so that's nice. Suarez, oh my god, that ball was hit a million miles per hour, but line outs, boys. A lot of line outs in the first inning. Get there, Gallo. Come on, get there, Joey. Nice. I did not want him to get that to fall in right field. That would have been annoying. Ooh, in the dirt. Take your time, Gary. He's got no speed. Nice, man. Oh my god, that curveball was disgusting. Max Scherzer just threw a hell of an inning. I think this is going to be a fastball down the middle. Yeah, my opponent wasn't, like, pitching. I don't know if he's, like, he wasn't, like, at his controller. So, he just threw a fastball down the middle, so I'll take the base hit. boy Gallo. That's a good pitch. Slider got towards the outside part of the plate. It's off the end of the bat. It's a good two-strike pitch. Justin Smoke. Oh, my God. That's another line out. Wow. All right, so does that bring up Mike Trout? Is Justin Smoke the seven hitter? It does. All right, Mike Trout with two outs, runner on first. He can't hit into a double play, so that's nice. And Mike Trout is going to line out. Dude, that's like four out of my six outs, our line outs. Come on, man. Here we go, ground ball to short. Routine play for Mondesi. Oh my god, Mondesi with, he's got 92 speed, and Mondesi just made a hell of a play. He goes from routine to web gem like that. Wow. So he randomly brought in Ken Griffey Sr. to pinch hit, and gets a base hit up the middle with, uh, with two outs in the inning. That was a weird, like, who did he even pinch hit for? I don't even know. Either way, it's going to be an out to Trout. All right, we're going to the bottom of the fifth. All right, Justin Smoke leading off the bottom of the fifth. Dude, <laughs> this is a very, very boring game. Like, it feels like every game lately, like, has been super boring. Like, both teams have two hits. It's kind of a pitcher's duel. 
I don't know what's going on lately, and it's not on even, or it's not even on this account, it's like on the other account too, it's like, I don't know, there just hasn't been a lot of offense lately for me, so, or for my opponents, so we'll see, man, alright, Justin Smoke with Mike Trout on deck right now, here we go. Oh, I got on top of that, dude, that was a fastball, a very hittable one, dang it, alright, Mike Trout, you're coming up with nobody on and one out, I kind of feel like power swinging, I'm gonna try to power swing with Mike Trout here, you know, I've been using X to swing this entire series, and obviously that hasn't really worked out too well, so we're gonna go with a little bit of a square swing, a square, square swing, square swing, that's a good slider though, right on the inside half, alright, come on, let's go, give me something to hit over the plate, he did give me something to hit over the plate, but I do think this is gonna get caught, oh, it's not, Mike Trout hits a double, Mike Trout gets an extra base hit, sound the alarms, everybody hide in your bunkers, the end of the world's coming. Is that really the secret? Do I literally just need to power swing and Max Scherzer's gonna drive him in with a double? What the hell? That was a, uh, an X swing with Scherzer, but I'm talking with Trout, do I just need to power swing with him? Oh my god, what just happened? Come on, make a play, D. Make a play, D. 92 speed. You don't have the best arm. He's going to beat it. Yeah. Nice play. Good effort. Got to give him credit there. He's just a fast base runner. He's running. Oh, I got him. I got him easily, right? Wait, what? Why did he put, like, no... I... Okay. He should be out, but whatever. It's actually going to be a pretty tough play at first. All right, 58 speed is out. Um... I think I'm going to walk Keith Hernandez to face Ian Kinsler. I think that's what I want to do here. And he's going to get a base hit. He reached for a changeup towards the outside part of the plate and actually gets it into the outfield. All right, hey, I walked him. I chose to face him. Wow, that's a good pitch, too. That was a great pitch. Oh my god, give me a break, dude. It's a high and inside fastball. What are these hits, man? I'm making such good pitches on two strikes and he just keeps popping these hits in there. Oh my god. All right, I think I, I think we have to... Gallo, Gallo. When did this just become a nightmare? I, hey, he has to go. Like, I, I can't... I can't stay with Scherzer, he just allowed like five straight hits, and don't get me wrong, pretty much none of those were hit hard. Like that, that's just the most unfortunate chain of events for Max Scherzer ever. Oh my god, dude, what is going on? I throw one pitch with Dylan Batances and Gary Sanchez can't block it. Bro, oh my god. This is like the worst thing ever. I cannot believe what I just saw. He just put up a five spot on the cheesiest way possible. Oh, I think that one's gone. I don't think that one's staying in the yard. Are you kidding me, bro? So you're telling me that he just got that inning he just had, and then I can't get that on an actual good swing. I can't get anything, but he gets like five straight blue pits and wow. Wait, is that one going to be a warning track fly out too? I don't even know at this point. All right, Joey Gallo. Thank you for giving us a run back. Atta boy. Bottom of the seventh. I can be mad about that fifth inning or sixth inning or whatever it was all I want, but I got to score more than two runs to begin with. So let's go. Justin Smoke, Mike Trout in the pitcher spot. We're facing Blake Trinan. That was supposed to be a check swing. Justin Smoke the other way. That shouldn't be getting caught. Even if it's not a home run, it gets in the bullpen. Let's go. Justin Smoke takes it oppo. And we are only two runs behind now. We got Mike Trout. I'm going back to the power swing again. The power swing worked. Get down. Stay fair. No. Why does his all stay fair but mine can't? Mike Trout, I missed that one, dude. Yeah, my PCI was a little inside. Rona Pedro off the bench. Need him to step up and make this a one-run game right here. And I missed it. Yo, D. Gordon actually hit that one pretty well. But, of course, 
not going anywhere. Alrighty, well, top nine, same score. Still down by two here. Roberto Osuna is in for his second inning of work. And, uh, yeah, man, I honestly didn't expect to be losing by two going into the ninth inning uh, earlier in this game. I really thought I was going to be able to handle this, but that sixth inning, man, was just unreal. So, got to try to do whatever I can to tie this game in the bottom of the ninth. I have to keep it at a two-run lead. Come on, come on, Gallo. Come on, Gallo. I actually made a diving catch. It's actually possible. Easy play, easy play. I haven't seen somebody get this lucky in a minute. Yeah, you're out. You should have been out to begin with. All right, two down. Oh, and it was a strike him out, throw him out. I didn't even realize he swung. All right, Joey Gallo, Gary Sanchez, Justin Smoke, and then if somebody gets on base, Mike Trout. So this is an important ninth inning. Come on, boys. Wow, how was I so late on that? What am I looking for? Ah, uh, I guess I was expecting something on the corner. I didn't really expect him to go right over the middle. Gary Sanchez, that's not going anywhere. That's going to just be a shallow fly out. All right, two down. Justin Smoke needs to get on base right now. So Mike Trout has an opportunity. We need this right here, Justin Smoke, please. Justin Smoke. What a fitting end. What an absolute joke of a loss. Call me salty, I don't care. That's that's a little ridiculous, the fact that he got five runs that inning and I lined out all those times throughout the game without pretty much receiving anything out of that. So, or a real fun stuff, right? Anyway, my saltiness aside, if we take a look at what happened, uh, we lost the game, so we don't get a downgrade. We just It just stays at zero. We didn't score f uh, six or more runs. Mike Trout didn't get on base two or more times. Literally, we're sitting at zero right now. The only way we can actually get an upgrade for the next video is if you guys hit the like button. If you guys hit the like goal and hit 3,600 likes, that's the only way we get an upgrade. So, it's up to you. Otherwise, we're just going into the next video with the same exact team and nothing really to talk about. So, you guys gotta hit the like button if you want an upgrade for this video, man. I'm sorry. It's the way it is. Mike Trout, he got a hit. He got a double. He performed better than he has in, you know, past games, but... Bruh, I'll go ahead and spare you guys of the complaints though. Um, so yeah, the only way we can get an upgrade is if we hit the like goal, because right now we're sitting at zero. Um, so if you guys hit the like goal, we can get one. So down in the comments, let me know which guys you'd like to see me upgrade. Like, should I upgrade Mondesi? Should I upgrade some of the starters? Should I upgrade more of the bullpen? One upgrade, let me know which gold card you guys think I should pick up down there. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Sorry it was kind of a dumb gameplay, but it is what it is. Is. Angel in the outfield, MLB the show. This is what we got. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. 3,600 likes for an upgrade. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with the series. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.